In this video, I'm going to review manipulating anchor points to an extra accurate level. Um, so I'm really going to try to get my anchor points line and my lines and everything, strokes and everything, lined up to this illustration or this photograph that I started here. Um, so to start with, I'm going to use, um, well, I'll show you the tools I'm going to use. I'm going to use the direct selection tool and I'm going to use the convert anchor point, which is grouped with the pen tool. So convert anchor point tool, and I'm going to actually start with the direct selection tool. Um, let me zoom back out, and I'll just zoom in to some of these anchor points. And as you see, every red dot, or if I change the color of my layer, you'll see it as different colors. And um, maybe a blue would work better, light blue maybe. Um, but now you see every blue dot that you see is an anchor point. Um, so your your anchor points might light up a different color. It just depends on the layer you're on. Um, but they, the color of the anchor points doesn't really matter because when you click off of off of it, it really do, it really goes away. But you want to first of all select your shape, select your object, and then you can click on an anchor point and it turns to a dark color. So now you see a white anchor point up there, and your selected anchor point is dark blue or dark whatever color your layer is, and you can click and drag to move that anchor point around. And so you can do that, and that, that helps sometimes um, just, just moving the anchor points around. I probably want to zoom in when you do this, by the way. Um, but also you get these handles that pop out. Now these handles I'll be covering in more detail in the next video where I review the pen tool. And so I'll kind of cover those from scratch. But as you see, you can move two anchor points at a time. Um, excuse me, two handles at a time, kind of like a seesaw. Um, so you can move them up and down, side to side. You can move them in to out. Um, and so you can get it pretty accurate. Um, you can actually click on the line itself too, and it will move the line out by adjusting those handles as well. So you can play around with this. Um, I usually just move the anchor points around when I'm when I'm using this tool. Um, the other tool I'd recommend trying out is the convert anchor point tool. Convert anchor point tool will instead of moving both handles like like the convert like the direct selection tool did convert anchor point tool will actually move one handle at a time it kind of breaks them apart so you see how that moved that one handle and then you can move the other handle as well that kind of broke them apart and whenever you're using this tool if you hold down the command key on a Mac or the control key on a PC that's command key on a Mac control key on a PC it will jump back up to your direct selection tool so that's command key on a Mac control key on a PC and then you can click on the next point and drag these handles in and out and I'll kind of scroll down I can move this I'll just hold down the command key and move this these points down to get it a little bit more accurate and then I can tweak it with my convert anchor point tool in really precise detail and go around your whole illustration or your whole shape and you'll really be able to get a really nicely well drawn shape so that kind of is a more of an intermediate method of creating your shapes the ideal method is to do this right the first time um, so in the next video I'm going to show you how to do it right the first time with the pen tool It is a difficult tool to, to master but once you master it I think you'll find it really um, helpful for drawing nice intricate precise drawings. So next video will be the pen tool.